Yeah, it's an exciting day, the AFLW draft. Uh, usually we'd be in Victoria with all the other clubs in, in the uh, AFLW competition. However, through the restrictions, we're here at the ECU Broadcasting Studio. We're all set to go. We're excited to bring in uh, six new players to our squad. Um, and really build on obviously what that year one was in terms of getting into the competition, becoming more competitive and I'm sure we're going to bring in great talent uh, this afternoon. Hello everyone and welcome. Thanks everyone for jumping on. You should be able to see the first sort of 30 picks up there on your screen now. So the key people in our AFLW recruiting team is Chad Morrison uh, has helped uh, head it up for the last three to four years and Chad is right across the, uh, the talent pool, has done a mountain of work and uh, has a fantastic eye in terms of talent ID. Ali Lampkin has been involved with women's football for a long period of time and is another person that we bounce a lot of ideas off and player backgrounds with her time at the Football Commission, but also her experience and knowledge just knowing the players on a deeper level. We're on a bit here. We're going to, we've got about three of the next ten picks. Every year the, uh, the female players are coming to the game and there's not only the, the younger crop who have, who have been in the game for longer periods, but there's also other players who mature at different rates, uh, come from different sports, uh, so we've taken a lot of information in, we've looked at a lot of prospects. Uh, it's not only just this year, but it's multiple years which we've been watching their development and we think we're really well placed for who we're about to select. Time now for pick number three and we turn our attention to the west of the country and Western Australia and pick number three in the 2020 NAB AFL Women's Draft. The West Coast Football Club selects Isabella Lewis of the Claremont Women's Football Club. Congratulations, Bella. Welcome to the West Coast Eagles. We're so excited to have you on board. How does it feel? Yeah, really surreal. Um, it's been a long road winding up to this point um, and I'm just really excited to be here. So we understand that we haven't had the luxury of some teams of picking a team with all the talent there and this is going to take two to three to maybe four years to get the squad up to speed with the talent, the experience, but most importantly, the right people for our culture and um, who live the values of our football club and where we're heading is the most important thing. And I guess that's what we measure our success on. The West Coast Eagles select player 716693. Andrea Gilmore from Claremont Football Club. Oh, we're, we're excited and, and wrapped with how the draft played out for us. Obviously, we wanted to go in with the foresight of building for the future, but also remaining competitive uh, for the upcoming season. So to bring in uh, young underage talent uh, with our first two picks and then a bit of a mixture of mature players and, and players who have obviously in Andrea Gilmore that's come from another sport, been involved in our program, uh, is fantastic and it, it fits all the different lines of midfield, defence and, and a key forward. So we've used four picks out of six. Uh, we, we can still sign two players over the next 48 hours, which we'll do. Um, we're in conversations around that and uh, we'll work through that process most likely on Thursday. Full credit to the recruiting team, done a great work throughout the year. We've spotted a lot of talent and um, we look forward to now getting to pre-season.